It looks like I have a mustache. Hey Gen Zers, welcome back, and today we're gonna talk about skincare. I love to talk about coping mechanisms and things that Gen Zers can use to de-stress and to relax to help with mental health and to keep us all mentally healthy as Gen Zers. So today I'm going to be talking about skincare, giving you my skincare routine, and my tips on how to get clear skin. As you can probably tell, I don't actually have clear skin, but it's about the journey and throughout my years, though they're not over, of being a teen, I have learned some tips and I'm still learning on how to manage my skin. To begin with, I just want to say that everybody's skin is different and my skin tips won't necessarily work for you, but hopefully they'll be helpful for some people out there that have skin like mine. Some people actually have really good skin, just like genetically, and their skin is always flawless no matter what they eat, no matter what they do, or their skincare routine, and their skin is always amazing. I, unfortunately, am not one of those people, and I do not have genetically good skin, so I have to work pretty hard to keep my skin under control and in check. So today I'm gonna to be giving you my skincare routine and my tips for that. I have combination skin. In the winter, my skin is super dry and it sometimes gets red and flaky and it's really annoying. So that's really tough to deal with. But then I still break out too. So it's like the worst of both worlds. But I mean, we have to learn how to deal with that. So without further ado, this is my skincare routine. So my skincare routine in the morning. First, I start off by just washing my face with only cold water. I don't use any soap in the morning because my skin tends to be a little bit sensitive um, on the more sensitive side, so I don't use too much soap to wash my face every day. So I just start off by rinsing off my face with cold water. After washing my face with cold water, I will moisturize using this Cetaphil moisturizer. It's just very, very simple moisturizer and it works well on my skin that can be sensitive. So sometimes I actually do like to mix this with a little bit of lavender. Lavender oil is one of my favorite little tips or hacks. It's very concentrated if you use it alone, so you should always mix it with something like water or moisturizer, which I like to do. And I just take this Pure Essential Organic Lavender and I mix a couple of drops with my moisturizer and I apply that all over my face and I pat it gently. So that's what I do in the morning to moisturize. And then after that, I actually come downstairs and I get an ice cube. This is gonna sound a little bit weird, but I take an ice cube and I rub it all over my skin. You don't wanna keep it on your skin for too long because it can be harsh and make your skin inflamed, but I do like using an ice cube because it brings down a lot of um, redness and if you have like inflamed breakouts it'll help that calm down too. It's also very refreshing and sometimes my eyes are very puffy in the morning so I like to also put those on my eyes um, and sometimes I wrap a piece of like tissue around it so it's not too harsh or too cold and then after that I just dab off my face to make it dry. After I use the ice cube I will actually take a little bit of aloe and then apply that all over my face. So I love aloe so much, aloe vera. We actually have two aloe plants and I really would recommend investing in an aloe plant. I think you can get it at like Home Depot or Walmart. If you take care of it, it's, it's succulent so it's really easy to keep it alive because I definitely don't have a green thumb, but our aloe plants are still alive. In the morning, I just take a little bit. Oh no, it's really goopy. Oh my goodness. Well, the goopiness is good for you, I guess. So I cut some off. As you can see, I just cut this much off. My nails are really bad. I had to cut them because I play piano and they get in the way if they're too long, so I had to cut them. But here, I just take a piece of aloe and I use like a pretty dull knife. This is not super sharp, but be careful when you're doing this. And I cut off the sides and I cut off the front and the back and I rub that all over my face. And then I keep like trimming it down to make it like to get all like the goop out of it. And it's like, I use it like like a face mask and I keep that on the aloe vera for about 15 minutes and then I wash it off. What I love so much about aloe is that it's a face mask that heals your skin and it also moisturizes and just like helps it 
rejuvenate I guess. I love using aloe and it's very refreshing. It will be a little bit goopy but it's super good for your skin because it has a ton of vitamin E. So that is my morning skincare routine. And speaking of vitamin E, I've also been taking my vitamin E pills which will also help your skin, your hair, and your nails and just good for you. I have my vitamins right here. This is the vitamin E pill that I take and I just have some organic black tea that I like to take in the morning. So, okay, that one's good. And this is just my vitamin C. I also want to apologize for the bad sound quality. If you can't tell, I'm actually filming on my iPhone, which I know is horrible. And I'm in my bathroom downstairs, the bathroom downstairs, it's not like my bathroom, but like it's in my house. Do you know what I mean? Anyway, I'm filming in the bathroom downstairs and it's really echoey in here. So I apologize for that. Yeah, I don't have a vlog camera, so. So I hope you enjoyed this episode and tune in for the next time. Thanks for watching and listening.